right guys model rocks 321 here just wanted to show you guys an update on my space shuttle this is SD's kit number 1284 either the master series or it can be the vintage one with the green packaging I um, finished it up it is complete it is done I got the correct decals I had decals that were from sticker shock they were vinyl they make good decals but for scale models they um there's just not what I want on a space show they were just sitting up too thick some of them I only replaced a few of them I replaced uh, the front ones I left the window I replaced the top window I replaced I never even put on the name I didn't put on the, uh, the wing decals I did replace these on ones on the rear I left all these here and it, that was pretty much it and I peeled off this detail that was right here that little hatch I um I peeled that off and just cleaned up the area had some residue just cleaned it up with some goo gone and I touched it up with paint again and it was really perfect and I put all those as I just said and on the uh, solid rocket boosters and on the fuel tank I went on and added these rings all the black rings you see that's all me I added that and it did come with those four right there those four dots and those four dots right there I think they're like some kind of um, from when the nose cone fires or when they're separation I'm not sure what those parts really are so I have to look that up and see but yeah I did all these rings all these o-rings and um that's all the detailing I did I also went with the I made the name I called it this is the Atlantis space shuttle um, I was going to do discovery or a different one but I decided to do Atlantis I have pictures of Atlantis when I was in the at Kennedy Space Center I took pictures with the Atlantis when they have on display there so I was like you know what let me go ahead and make it that one and so I went on and put the water slide decals on and I did the version with the meatball logo on the wing and the name on the wing. Uh, they went through a few different um, changes like in this version this is from Rockets of the World and the ones Peter always have he had the one with the worm logo on the side I decided to go with the meatball version and then they had US flag here but I have the meatball on the left wing here and here they have US flag with the name so that was accurate no, actually had NASA worm logo on it. I just drew a flag just so I have my own reference. And I went with the flag in Atlantis. This initially had worm logo in Challenger. So I just um, went with a different scheme. And I got that scheme from this space shuttle book. There's Atlantis in here. So I followed what they had in there to be like this one. And I just want to say that I'm not looking for 100 percent accuracy I know that the Ravel so I had a commenter saying that if I really want accuracy there's the Ravel kits I know about the monogram I know about that I know I know these are this isn't accurate scale but I want it to be somewhat better than those thick decals I like them to sit flat even though you can feel these these are raised up the, the United States and then those little markings right there in that flag in this window is still the vinyl I decided to um, leave those even though I do have water slides of them but like I said, I'm not looking for like perfect scale. I know these are for flying. And I just wonder if it was scaled correctly, would it work? It may even actually work if it was um if it was the correct scale. I wonder if I think it will, I think you can get it to work. But just wanted to um share this with you guys and show you what I've done with the shuttle. You know, it attaches and um I'm gonna it's almost too nice to fly, man. It's almost a shelf queen. It's almost a shelf queen. But if I get it trimmed correctly and um Get everything done right get get it I'll, I'll fly it i'll fly it's about to toss it around and get it trimmed before i do launch it probably launch on the c53 like i did before seen it perform really well with the c53 or c63 could do it also but yeah i'm happy with it um came out really nice came out really nice more more accurate than um than it was the way the kit comes i just, I just added detailing that's all i did i added some stuff to it you know, I try to keep it light. I didn't do because there's these tan rings, long the old rings. There's some more tan rings that pairs up with each of them, which I'm not going to do. But this has, you know, the look like they say in scale. If, you, if it looks accurate from three feet across the room, I mean, or across the room or from three feet away, you know, you pretty much you got it. So just remember how far this one came. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Let me say that this had a destroyed nose. I molded this nose and um, redid this whole thing. Like I said, it has its imperfections, but overall. It is very good. I like it a lot. I like the way it came out. This is, it's, to me, it's beautiful. You know, it's a very nice one. Um, so, yeah, this is my space shuttle. I'm going to be, um, like I said, I'm going to toss it around and, um, and probably try to fly it. Try to get out there and launch it again. And about some of the detailing, I actually used the vinyl stuff here. I cut some real thin strips and I made that shape for the, um, for the air brake. So, that's, um, that's all that. This is um, painting. I did paint that with the flat black. I went down in these grooves with the flat black. 
Um, and I changed up the whole way it was, the way the SDs one was. I did these markings. Um, I put, this is actually double-sided tape with paper just to get this to stick. So I did these markings um, kind of by hand. They're not like perfect, perfect, but those tile, you know, yeah, it has a nice look to it. It's, like I said, across the room, you wouldn't be able to tell. So overall, I'm happy with this shuttle. Went with Atlantis, like I said, came out pretty neat. Did those, those dots on the top. Those were more water slide decals. And I did leave the raised up ones, those, but that that's a water slide meatball, water slide. From the United States forward to here is all the vinyl. But yeah, so I live and I learn. I um, you know, I don't the vinyl, I do like vinyl decals. I like them for certain rockets, I guess bigger ones, but something about the shuttle, it just even this window when I look at it, it still seems kinda thick and I can see this white border around it, which I do have um the window. I have the window decal, so I may end up changing that out by the time this flies i when i feel like it i may peel this off clean up that area and then i may slap that water slide on there just to make it a little bit better man I just want them um i want them nice like i said like I, said, I know it's not perfect scale but i want them nice you know for me and for my collection and to display but i have to get this one trimmed really well before i fly it I, or not it may not fly i may have a shelf queen on my hands guys i typically fly them all i did put a lot of work into this you know, before flying, which some people, they do all their flying and then they'll go back and um, I'm the other way around and then go back and fix it up. I'll fly first and then I'll do my repairs from there if it needs needed. I think there's something good to work. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good um flyer once I'm, once it's all said and done. That being said, um, that's all I have pretty much. Oh, just want to mention the cards again, the cards, the cards, the cards, place your order. Link is in the description. Get your limited set. This is one of the cards that will be vaulted. This set is a limited run. All of them are limited. So lock in a set. This Project X SR71 Blackbird card is one of the ones that will be vaulted forever. Outside, anything else could be possibly a reissue. There's one that's going to be vaulted. This DCY Clipper, limited, see, limited edition, limited edition. And let me find my other limited. And the Stealth Alpha. So these three right here will be limited. They will be gone and never to return. Set, this whole set, this whole 12 card set, there's <laughs> a good possibility this may be the only run. And then set two will come out. So don't miss out on these cards, guys. Support, that is a great way to support the channel. Four descriptions on the back. I added mine in these hard cases. Yours won't come with this, but the link is in the description along with the cards where you can purchase these cases from Amazon. They're really nice, the magnetic time, magnetic kind. They're cool. So you got some, some literature on the back about each of these rockets from the model rocketry headquarters. There's the world famous Mars lander. Outside of the Little Joe 2, this Mars lander is high on my list as a GOAT, greatest of all time rocket. So just want to share these again with you guys. Place to order. Get you guys a set of these cars. Don't miss out because when they go out of production, when I'm done with it, they're done. You wish you had them then, but don't let this be like rockets when they go away and then you can't get them and then people jack the prices up. So go on and secure your set. That DC Y Clipper is really nice in black and white. That is a nice one. One of my favorite ones out of this set. Yeah, just have all the specs about the car on the back. Tell you some stuff about the flight and this and that. So, real cool, guys. Don't miss out on this. And we got the Little Joke 2. We got the Orbital Transport. The Omega. That is a great photo. I, could, I was so happy when I made this picture right here of the Omega um, taking off. So, don't miss out on the Omega. The two-stage classic. Yeah, so that's about it, guys. This is Model Rocks 321. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Hit the thumb up button like and share share the channel send it to a friend you can copy the link and send it um share away share away all right guys let me get out of here it's my rocks 321 see you on another video Attention Rocketeers, for the very first time, you can get your hands on an exclusive set of Model Rocket trading cards by Model Rockets 321. These cards have been carefully created and represent a groundbreaking first in the world of rocketry with their glossy UV-coated finish. These collectibles are a must-have for anyone passionate about space and rocketry. This 12-card set includes detailed descriptions on the back of each card, plus three limited edition cards that will be vaulted after this release. Don't miss out. Secure your set right now by clicking the link in the bio.